to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Haven't I mentioned our book in a, about a week? So I want to remind you: you can get a copy of this book, Guaranteed Freedom, Victory, and Success through the Lord Jesus Christ. It's available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or you can go over to the website. Those links are below. Well, the they had the only governor's debate on last night, and I must say that Ron DeSantis destroyed Charlie Chris. Charlie Chris is nothing but a bootlicker for Joe Biden. How low do you have to be to be the bootlicker for Joe Biden? I have not made that formal decision, but it's my intention. My intention to run again. And we'll have time to make that decision. Uh, Dr. Biden is for it. Mr. President. Oh, Dr. Biden thinks that, uh, my wife thinks that, uh, that I uh, that that we're that we're doing something very important. Who's not even in charge of his bowels, but you're the bootlicker for Joe Biden. That's pretty pathetic. I like the part of the debate where Charlie Crisp was trying to say that Ron DeSantos is just trying to set himself up to run for president in 2024. Why are you concerned about that, Charlie? That's why you're gonna get destroyed. I like DeSantos' response, though. <laughs> DeSantos' response was the only worn out old donkey that he wants to put out in the pastor is Charlie Chris. <laughs> and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four year term as governor. Yes or no? Well, listen, I know that Charlie's interested in talking about 2024 and Joe Biden, but I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. And I know that Charlie's interested in talking about 2024 and Joe Biden, but I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. And you just look at the, 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 the expression on Charlie Chris' face. He was taken back that the Santos called him an old worn out donkey he needs to put out the pastor. There's a couple of old donkeys we need to put out the pastor. Happens to be one in the White House right now. Should have put that donkey out a long time ago. It's fitting that their 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 mascot is a donkey. What the Santos is saying that we need to put out the jackass out in the pastor. He's not good for anything. He was never even good for plowing the field. See, most donkeys can plow fields. Most donkeys you can get some work out of. This is a donkey. Charlie Chris and Joe Biden are donkeys that's never been smart. Nancy Pelosi is another donkey needs to be put out. Lindsey Graham is a donkey needs to put out. Mitch McConnell is a donkey that needs to be put out. But I like what he says. <laughs> He says that Charlie, the only donkey, oh, worn out donkey at that, that he wants to put out the pastor is Charlie Crisp. So they were debating a couple of things. And DeSantos brought up the fact that you can't get a tattoo, an, an unaged child can't get a tattoo in Florida, but Charlie Crisp and the Democrats want them to be able to have a double mastectomy for children. You're a 15 year old. You can't go get a tattoo in the state of Florida, yet we're saying you could get a double mastectomy. Of course not. It is inappropriate to do this for minors, and in Florida, uh, we are not going to allow that to happen. What, what kind of rational people would think like this? This is why we call Joe Biden administration the Walmart, Walmart administration, because you're bound to see anything. There is no policies that these left-leaning lunatics will not try to push on you and your children. And let's not forget that Charlie wanted to shut down Florida. He's upset, said he would listen to the science. Well, that's why Florida is thriving. Response to the pandemic. I would have listened to scientists, unlike the governor. It would have destroyed the state of Florida. Our hospitality and tourism industry, which has thrived, uh, would have gone into disrepair. Governor Ron Why don't you move to a liberal state, Charlie? Move to a liberal state and run down there because... All of those people are losing, and especially if you have a fair election. He wanted to shut down. Are you mean, are you claiming that because Anthony Fauci said he was not for shutting down now? Are you disagreeing with Anthony Fauci because he changed his mind again? 
And let's not forget that Charlie Crist and the Democrats want to do the opposite of what the governor of uh, the Santos is doing down in Florida. He wants the governor wants more parents to have rights over their children. Charlie Crist and the rest of the Democrats are only concerned with killing babies. Governor Ron DeSantis then clashing with Democrat challenger Charlie Crist on the topic of abortion. I understand not everyone's going to be born in perfect circumstances, but I would like to see everybody have a shot. I'm proud of the 15 weeks that we did. I know Charlie Crist opposes that. I don't want to ban abortion. I want to make sure we keep a woman's right to choose available to the women of the state of Florida. And I That's the only concern. You can call it pro-choice all you want to. Bottom line is you're snuffing out of life. That's the bottom line. I don't want to hear anything else about rape. You... There is ne there's never been an abortion that Charlie Chris does not like seeing. Just like all, all the Democrats are for abortion on demand up to nine months. Ask Warren L.J. Ask Katie Hobbs. Ask John Featherman. Ask Barack Obama. Ask Joe Biden. Ask Nancy Pelosi. Anyone you name, ne there's never an abortion that they're not for. Matter of fact, they're for dismemberment. I believe that Ron DeSantos brought that up during the debate also. Now, you do know what dismemberment is for abortion. We've talked about this particular process before. That's literally tearing baby parts out limb by limb. How barbaric is that? Who could say this is a good idea? This makes us seem more progressive. No, it makes you, you seem like you're mentally deranged. This is almost like children's sacrifice or something. What kind of people in a civilized uh, uh, nation, even if you're uncivilized? I mean, but we're supposed to be so progressive and enlightening, and we're for these types of things. I agree with you, Governor DeSantos. We need to put this old worn-out donkey out to the pastor because he has done his, his damage on helping bootleg for Joe Biden.